hello to the nation. Hello to the nation, Dr. PlayStation Nation here talking to you guys over a little bit of a Minecraft Redstone tutorial, guys. Hopefully, you guys are having a good day because I am doing a little tutorial for you guys. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy it. I know it's been a while since I did one of these, and we are here today with the picture frame lock. This is a 7x8x6 picture frame lock, so pretty much you're going to be using your picture frames to lock up stuff. Before we get started, I like to give credit where credit is due. This idea is inspired by a generic B video, which I saw uh, through the Reddit. It's... Uh, where pretty much he showed or demonstrated how in the new Minecraft Snapshot, I am the new, in the new Minecraft Snapshot 14W04B, um... This is going to be the new Minecraft 1.8 update. You guys are probably in it by the time you're watching this. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, but I definitely suggest you guys uh, watch this video. Check out how to do this. Because in the new Minecraft, not only will su survival mode, it'd be really cool to have this sort of door. But multiplayer specifically. Because if you have factions and you can claim your certain land and stuff like that uh, against people from breaking it, then you can do this super cool stuff. And also, this can be used uh, for different things aside from picture frames. You guys can throw dispensers in here if you guys want and fill up dispensers and all that stuff it's a uh, very modifiable but uh, anyway with that being said uh, this is pretty much what generic B demonstrated in his video this machine right here which pretty much if I click it once uh, the first torch will light up if I click it twice the second torch third the third torch and fourth the fourth torch this is gonna go up to eight torches uh, and then uh, reset and uh, this is the machine that was used in Seth Bling's uh, Super Craft Brothers map to, in order for map selection, I believe. But uh, yeah, so with that being said, let's kind of get uh, over here and start talking about So this was my second design. This was just basically to open up a door and it ended horribly. My third design was trying to make a tileable version of this, which didn't end up working out. I thought I could do it. Uh, but then I decided to settle on a three uh, option or a three item frame combination lock. Uh, and if you guys wanted to extend this, you guys probably could uh, separate each item frame by one space, and then it would probably be uh, easily tileable. You just need to alternate the direction. And if you guys are good with redstone, you guys will figure out how to do that. But for those of you who aren't, you know, maybe as inclined, uh, this is basically what you guys are going to need. You guys are going to need three item frames, as seen here. Uh, you guys are going to need 12 redstone comparators, six redstone repeaters, 14 redstone torches, three hoppers. Instead of hoppers, guys, I know iron uh, could be difficult for you guys to get. You guys can just use a chest. You guys will just need to fill it up with more items, so you guys can just use dirt and stuff. Uh, and then about 16 redstone. It really depends on how long uh, you want to run your chain to turn something on. But uh, pretty much for this, guys, uh, you guys, it's highly customizable. You guys can change your combo on the fly very easily. But uh, here's my combination. So it's going to be right down and left as you guys can see I do that and then this little light turns on that could be a door that could be you know it could set off a command lock it could do a bunch of cool things uh, for you map makers out there it's really cool it could it could do a bunch of stuff so uh, how does this work how, how does this kind of work uh, oh like I said 7 by 8 by 6 uh, I could have made it a little bit shorter but I decided but it, then it would have had it been farther back uh, and also I, I liked how uh, the output is forward opposed to backward because if I would have made it shorter the output would have been at the back opposed to at the front and I like it at the front better because it's more applicable to things that you guys might do. So uh, how does this work? I'm going to go over a little bit of an overview about how it works, how you guys are going to be able to change the combination. So pretty much what's going to happen is you have these three item frames and each one has a comparator coming out of it. So these are the three, that one's the third one, first one, and then the second one's right there. And pretty much what it's going to do is it looks complicated, but the comparator signal for the third one goes out this way and up there. The comparator signal for the second one goes up in this direction, and the comparator signal for the first one goes up, out, and out this direction. So this is the first frame second frame third frame and uh, from there it's pretty easy so really all you guys need to do I will have a map download in the description uh, it's not gonna have everything from this map just this stuff strictly and uh, you guys will be able to look at it copy it do all that sort of stuff uh, the main things that I just want to stress is make sure that this uh, comparator right here is in subtract mode that is where the fr front torch is lit up as you can see that's not subtract mode that is subtract mode uh, you want to make sure that the uh, first one as well so the first and third need to be in subtract mode as you guys can see 
that one right there and that one right there and then for the uh, middle one you don't want that one to be in subtract mode you want this one to be in subtract mode right here so make sure those three are in subtract mode uh, that's basically how you're gonna get your different combinations if we didn't have that uh, then everything would get screwed up and I don't want to go into that um, now you guys might also be wondering maybe when you get this set up how are you guys going to change your combinations and that's pretty easy uh i have it set up so basically these three hoppers are your your weights so your combination weights if you will so uh pretty much all you're going to do you guys again can replace these with chests you, can, you guys can put a chest here you guys can put a dispenser here i wouldn't suggest it though because if you have a dispenser here and this is lighting up uh it would be setting off the dispenser and uh, that would basically mean that your combination would constantly be changing which would not be fun uh you guys could set up uh, pretty much anything that you can put items in a brewing stand even um but yeah so Pretty much the way I have it set up is in order to get a right side, which is about a quarter power, what you guys are going to need to do is put about 30 pistons. Now there is a little bit of leeway, I could probably put 28, 29, and it would be the same thing, but if I put 16 then it would only be about 2 clicks opposed to the 3 clicks that I want. Um, then for this one, which is the middle one, which is downward, uh, I needed a whole stack and then another quarter, so you guys could use that. You guys can also use beds, so if you guys want, you can mix and match beds. It basically goes by the percentage that these things are filled. So a bed takes up one full slot, it's the equivalent of one stack, so I could have used that instead. And then finally for the other one, for the, the right uh, it, it's more power, or it takes more uh, power or whatever, or it's a higher output signal. So what you're going to need is you're going to need more items. So I put two stacks in there, and it worked out. You guys can pretty much just uh, look at these these torches up here and pretty much understand. So if you guys see that torch over there, if I were to flip this over there, it turns on, and then if I keep on turning, it's still on all the time until I get back there, and then it turns off. So that's kind of how it works pretty basic but um anyway that's kind of how this works and then from there pretty much all you're doing is you're just individually turning off each one of these and then there's some little logic here to just make sure that when this one and this one this one and this one are both are, are are off then this torch goes on this torch goes on which turns on these two which makes this torch go off this torch go off and this torch go on and that's your output so all you guys need to do if you wanted to set this up with a door uh, or something would just be um, make a little chain going all the way out here and then you just need to put your redstone out going this way and then set it up to a door or a piston or whatever so if you guys can see I can just go like that and then boom as you guys can see it works so anyway guys hopefully you did enjoy this video if you guys did remember to like ring down below as well subscribe join the nation I make uh, daily minecraft videos for those of you who are new to the channel and all the other great stuff remember to subscribe again rate the video because these videos do take quite uh, a lot of time in comparison to my other videos as you guys can see I have like four different things that I had to make just to get to this point but anyway hopefully you guys did enjoy I am the doctor and I'm out